What is going on traders? This might be the biggest earnings week in stock market history. It doesn't happen so often that the top six companies by market cap in the US are all reporting earnings the same week. Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, otherwise known as Google, Facebook and Tesla are all reporting earnings this week. So in this video, I'll dive into a little bit of market analysis. I'll tell you my top stocks that I'm watching and I will give you a preview of what I'm expecting from Tesla earnings and a few trade ideas. So you definitely wanna stick around till the end. And if you get anything out of this video, leave it a big fat thumbs up just like this. Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know which stocks you are trading. And if you want access to our private trading group where we are also doing the 10K challenge and you wanna follow along, sign up link is in the description below this week on the discord i will also be starting the live streams where every few days i will be going live at the market open you guys can ask me questions any question and i will try to answer it live i'll show you if i'm going to be executing trades or what i'm looking at for that day if that interests you you'll want to sign up as well and let's get right into it the nasdaq which is where most of these stocks live is definitely at resistance we could easily this week push higher if the companies that I just mentioned report better than expected earnings. Everybody and their mother is expecting these companies to beat earnings. They will have to report something completely out of the ordinary and unexpected for the NASDAQ to push higher. Otherwise, I'm expecting the NASDAQ to see a little bit of a drawdown before a summer reopening scenario. A lot of these companies like Facebook are near all time highs. Facebook hit $315 a few days ago. We sold calls against our shares and against our leaps. These are called covered calls. I'm not gonna go over them in this video, but just so you know. Now, a lot of times these companies that have great fundamentals and just blast through earnings see a decline after earnings. Why does that phenomenon exist? Well, it's called a sell the news event. See, if the bulk of traders are expecting a certain event to happen, like a company to beat earnings, then they are buying that stock ahead of the earnings and that leads to the price rally before earnings. So that on earnings day, the ones who are FOMOing in get caught holding the bag and the ones that already bought early are, are doing what's called fading the market where they are buying low and selling high essentially. That is why a lot of times you'll see sell-offs on earnings and Facebook is no different. Facebook actually tends to tank after good earnings because there is usually a violent run-up ahead of earnings. Tesla, which I'll go into a bit more detail when I give you my trades for Tesla, the last few earnings, it actually tends to be very stable, trading in a tight range. We saw that for the last three earnings. Part of the reason is because Tesla also releases its delivery numbers ahead of time as well. So there isn't much unexpected information released on earnings day unless it's something that they've really been holding that they want to announce on that day, like a new product or a new service, etc. Apple is also nearing all-time highs. The last two earnings, we did see a decline. They just announced the AirTags as well as a few other products. Apple is one that we sold covered calls on as well. So just in summary, a covered call is when you sell a call above the price that you bought the shares at. And when you're selling a call, essentially you're betting that the stock remains below that. If the stock remains below your strike price, then you get to keep all of the money that you sold the call for. If the stock goes above your strike price, then you are forced to sell your shares, but you're selling them for a profit. So kind of a win-win that you can only generate that scenario through trading options. And I did a full options course from A to Z. We start off from what is an option and finish at some of these really complex strategies like covered calls and diagonal spreads and vertical spreads. And there is still a coupon for $100 off that's going to last until May 1st. So if you want access to my options course, link is in the description below. It is a great value. There's over three and a half hours of information there. All right, and just to round off the earnings discussion, here is the list of companies that are reporting earnings this week. Look at this list. We got the six top companies in the US that I named. We also have AMD, Boeing, Shopify, Spotify, Wingstop. Neo is reporting earnings this week. I almost forgot about that. Neo is reporting on Thursday. I expect Neo to rise ahead of earnings and potentially after earnings because this stock has actually been beaten down, resting at the 200 day moving average, waiting on any new catalyst. And this, these are the types of, of scenarios that we look for because as I said, 
Leading up to earnings, if the stock has had a massive run, then most likely it'll be a sell the new scenario. The reverse is true. If a stock has tanked ahead of earnings, but there is still bullish outlook for that stock, either from a fundamental standpoint or a technical standpoint or both, then we tend to see rallies on earnings. As a matter of fact, after the last earnings, NEO actually gained 47% before retracing again and resting at the 200 day moving average. You see the, the RSI curling up, you see the MACD curling up. So we could potentially see a price rally as long as NEO doesn't report anything negative that the market wasn't aware of yet. All right, so here are the top stocks to buy, the top stocks that I'm looking at right now from a long-term perspective. Run is the first stock, or Sun Run Inc. Not only did it get a $77 price target from Piper Sandler, Sun Run is currently trading at $55.69, but Sunrun is also poised to see benefits or what Seeking Alpha calls a multi-decade tailwind from the new climate policy based on the new administration. The US is looking to reduce domestic greenhouse gases by 50% by 2030. Clean Tech notes that Sunrun is a best-in-class rooftop solar storage developer that has significantly accrued value from current customers to go along with high growth in net earnings assets and a growing wedge of rising utility costs while its own costs fall. So basically it is increasing its margins, increasing its net value, as well as potentially poising itself for being a high growth stock in this sector. After bouncing off of the 300 day moving average, I'm picking up Sunrun here for the long term. I also like some of these smaller energy companies that are going to see a massive spike once the economy reopens fully. OXY or Occidental Petroleum is one of them, currently sitting at $24.65 at the 100 day moving average. Remember, these are long term plays. This is not a swing trade. So if it does drop some more, I will be looking to average my costs. Oxy fell 30% recently, so we are getting a massive discount. And right before the pandemic, the stock was trading at around $43. The third stock is one that I just talked about. It's NEO. NEO sitting at the 200 day moving average. As I said, the last earnings report, we did see a 40, more than 40% increase. And I expect that to be the case unless something negative and unexpected comes out, which obviously I don't expect because if we did, then we wouldn't buy it. They recently released their Q1 delivery numbers of 20,060 beating their outlook. March shipments reached 7,257 units, which also beat their outlook. Now, one storyline that I definitely wanna follow with all EV makers, not just Neo, is how the chip shortage is going to affect their earnings outlooks. Because on March 26th, Neo temporarily suspended its vehicle production due to the chip shortage. So I'll be very interested to hear what the developments in the EV market are regarding this chip shortage. You'll see in the 10 K challenge portfolio, we picked up Neo for around $39 and 91 cents. We're up around 4% on Neo, definitely holding this position. And we also had a Neo credit put spread option that we closed for 70% profit on Friday. All right, the next few stocks that I'm going to look at are related to Bitcoin, Mara and Riot, which are Bitcoin mining stocks. They obviously tanked when Bitcoin's price tanked because they're correlated. This is due to the usual FUD that comes along with trading Bitcoin. Those of you who have been in the Bitcoin market for a long time know that. And the latest piece of FUD was whether the government was going to tax crypto at an insanely high rate. I personally think that it will be taxed, but it won't be taxed more than any other asset. So the fear from that is likely overblown. We see that Riot is currently sitting at the bottom of the channel at the 100 day moving average. This is a very low risk entry since you can enter here and set your stop limit right below the 100 day moving average and exit in case the stock tanks due to Bitcoin tanking some more. All right, those are some of the stocks that I'm definitely looking at this week for the full watch list. I will be sending that out in the Discord. Now let's talk about Tesla. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the last three earnings, Tesla actually has been very flat or four earnings actually. Tesla actually has been very flat, which in that case, you will want to pick a neutral strategy. Now, one of these strategies you could pick is an iron condor, which is a neutral strategy that says that if Tesla remains between your range, you get to keep 100% of the premium for selling that iron condor. And if this sounds like Spanish, then you know consider picking up the options course or you could do your own research for free, of course, 
purchase is not necessary. It's just easier to follow a condensed program that I put together from A to Z. But essentially this iron condor is what I'm looking to set up. And I did this in Robinhood. So those of you that use Robinhood can actually get an example of what I'm talking about. But in this case, we're going to be selling this iron condor. You basically have the 805, 800 call spreads, the 670, 665 put spreads. So in English, what this means is Tesla has to remain between $670 and $800. And if it remains anywhere in there, then I get to keep the full credit that I sell this iron condor for, which right now is $240 per contract. The max loss on this will be $260 per contract. So it's about even odds here. And I really like the chances of Tesla staying within that range. That gives us about $70 of price cushion to the upside because Tesla's trading at 730. So it needs 70 bucks to get to 800. And on the downside is what 60, yeah, $60 because it's trading at 730. And on the downside, we have about $60 of cushion before Tesla hits that 670 limit that we have. So again, Tesla would need to stay between 670 and 800 for us to keep the entire amount that we sold this for. Screenshot this if you want to look at my expirations and my strikes, which ones I bought, which ones I sold. It's really good practice that way. That's how I'm looking to play Tesla. If you're not looking at trading options and you just are talking about the stock, in my view, I don't like buying stocks before earnings. You can wait until earnings. A lot of times we see these big companies report earnings, especially if what they report was already known and expected. And after hours, you will see the price drop. I'm not saying that Tesla is going to drop, but it very well could. So if you haven't bought Tesla yet, I would not buy Tesla here before earnings. I will wait until April 26th after hours and see after they report if we actually get a price drop actually are they reporting after hours yeah they're reporting after market close on monday so i would wait until market close on monday after hours see if we get that after hours drop and then potentially make my buy there anyway traders that is it for this video if you got anything out of this video leave it a big fat thumbs up leave it in the comment section below let me know which stocks you are trading and how you're trading them if you want access to all of my trades, my watch list, and you want to see me go live, sign up. Link is in the description below. A link for a $100 coupon for the options course that expires May 1st is also in the description below. So sign up if you want that. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Stay safe out there, traders. Peace.